Gatsby is in his pool, eagerly awaiting Daisy's call, where she finally agrees to run off with him. While Gatsby is in the pool, a mysterious figure enters through the door of his mansion. But Gatsby remains lost in his thoughts, longing for his beloved Daisy to call him. When he turns around, we see that the mysterious figure is Daisy, who has arrived, ready to run away with him. She warns him that he must leave immediately because Wilson, Tom and the police are on their way to catch him. Resigned, Gatsby takes a suitcase and gets into his yellow car, not without first setting fire to his mansion. Before going away, he leaves a letter on Nick's doorstep with a special message for his great friend. Gatsby and Daisy flee on a hydroplane toward an unknown destination to start a new life. Gatsby is confident he can rebuild everything from the ashes as the plane is heading toward Montenegro. In Montenegro, they settle on one of its coasts and Gatsby dedicates himself to fishing while Daisy focuses on agriculture. Thus, they begin a new, happy life together, far away from everything that happened in America. One fine day, while Gatsby is in his fishing boat, he sees a luxurious yacht crashing into the coast and decides to help. He manages to save the passengers from drowning and discovers that one of them is a retired military man whom he knows by the name of Zoran. At first sight, Zoran immediately recognizes him, thanks Gatsby for saving him, and offers a job in his mansion. I know you very well. I know that you were of great help in the war. I awarded you the Medal of Valor, Zoran recalls. The next day, Gatsby presents himself at the mansion and Zoran welcomes him as an equal. They sit in the living room and Zoran confesses that he needs Gatsby's help to recover a lost diamond. Zoran tells him that one of his sons was flying on an airplane and had a valuable ring with him, but it was lost in a plane crash. Fortunately, his son escaped the crash by parachuting. However, the valuable ring was in his suitcase inside the aircraft. Gatsby accepts to go, recalling his training in the war. Daisy worries and bids him farewell at the cabin door. Gatsby has to go alone because Zoran does not want people to know that there is a plane with treasures out there. After spending several days in the cold mountains and fighting wild animals, Gatsby finds the plane. Inside, there are many treasures, coins and other valuable things, but he only needs the ring. Upon finding it, he puts it in his backpack and leaves everything else intact, as he had promised Zoran. When he returns to the mansion, Zoran is waiting for him. He confesses that he is planning a big party for his son. Gatsby tells Zoran that in America, he used to throw parties like no other, and they were epic. Zoran decides to give him the opportunity to throw a party for his son, where he will give him the lost ring. Gatsby and Daisy organize the best party that Montenegro has ever seen, with music, dancers and many guests. In the end, Zoran gives the ring to his son amidst a spectacle of fireworks that impresses everyone. Zoran is very pleased with the party and recommends Gatsby to all the guests. Soon, Gatsby starts receiving calls. People ask him to throw parties throughout Europe. With Daisy, they travel to Paris, London and Rome. Meanwhile, in America, Nick becomes famous and wealthy thanks to the novel where he tells Gatsby's story. Once in a while, Nick holds the letter that Gatsby left him when he departed, which only says one word, Montenegro. And now, as Nick is going to tour Europe presenting his book, he wishes to find his friend again. In Paris, Nick is invited to a party, and being there makes the memories of Gatsby's parties come flooding back. Nick asks who organized the party, but no one knows. Nick decides to wander around the place, and in a corner, as the fireworks begin to display, he sees Gatsby again, just like the first time. Nick gets excited and runs up to hug him. The two friends are reunited in an emotional scene. While they're embracing, a reporter takes a photo of them without them noticing, a photo for newspapers. The friends chat for a while, and at the end of the night, they agree to meet again at Gatsby's house in Paris. The next day, 
Nick goes to the house and finds that Gatsby has made a replica of his mansion in the United States. There, he meets his cousin Daisy, and the three friends talk for a long time about what has happened in these years. Meanwhile, in America, Tom sees the picture of Gatsby and Nick in the newspapers and decides to search for him. Nick spends several days with Gatsby and Daisy, reminiscing about those times when they were younger and happier. Tom arrives in Paris and doesn't have to ask much before finding Gatsby's mansion. Upon arriving at the mansion, he sees a yellow car and can spot the friends from a distance. Intending to end Gatsby's life, he decides to approach through the garden and casually begins to listen to the conversation. At that moment, Daisy says that these years have been the happiest of her life and that she wouldn't change them for anything. Tom realizes that Daisy is happy with Gatsby and that he has never seen her so happy and smiling. Tom turns around and decides to leave, knowing deep inside that Daisy was unhappy when she was with him. Nick, Gatsby and Daisy go out to the bay to watch a fireworks display, symbolizing the happiness they have attained. The next day, Gatsby and Daisy finally get married and they live happily ever after.